everybody to another day of living out here. We're not doing home repairs today. We're gonna be working on this beauty. This trailer, in 86 or four. I've been around this trailer for pretty much my whole life. All steel, uh, it was Pops's. I could haul stuff around, move my tractors around if I needed to. We're gonna be using three different things. The POR 15, primer, the bed liner to go on the deck, and the gloss white rust-oleum to paint the sides and the rails. I think it's going to turn out pretty sweet. Step on it. So a little disclaimer, the paint I'm using is about a year old, year and a half year old, and it's been stored at our unheated barn and uncooled barn. It's good from far, but far from good. So we'll see what it turns out like. about the wind but let's take a quick little walk around it's gonna need a second coat it's turning out pretty good I think we'll see the end product well we just got the second coat of white put on now we're gonna pull the tires off and paint the inside of the wheel well So now we have the inner fender well painted. Let's move on to the other side. Got this one done. We're not going for show quality. We're going for cover it up, give it a layer of protection, and make it look halfway decent. So let's get the tire back on. And the tire's back on. So we got the safety chains installed today and we've got the area all taped out so we can put the bed liner on. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry and then we'll pull all the tape off and I'll give you guys the actual finished finished product. So here's the final product.
The only thing left to do now is find somebody that can weld the jack. So I might take it up to up the road to a place. So we got the trailer set up on some blocks. I'm gonna be replacing the jack. So there's a snap ring in there that you have to remove to be able to remove the jack from the trailer. So after many minutes of fighting with this, see how this is up just a little bit now? I should be able to pull that snap ring out. Let's see if it works. On the new one, it's a two-ton jack that I got. Here's the snap ring. We're gonna take that off, disconnect basically the weld-on plate from the actual jack assembly, and we're gonna reinstall it. So that snap ring's off. And if you push this through, you can see how it's, there's a notch in there. This is the weld-on plate, actually for the trailer, but I already have one of these. So, now let's go put this bad dog on. I'm gonna have to move this to go into this hole for me to lock it up. So, with this, I wanted to move the retaining pin from here to here for my trailer to make it work the best. The pin slides perfectly in there, no joy. So now we get a drill, both sides of this one, cause this hole's smaller too. Drill this as well and make it so that pin can slide in. Here we go. First one's done. Looking good. So now you can see the pin fits through. We got to drill a little bit bigger hole for the pin to fit through on the trailer now. So let's do that to that mount. Well, this isn't going to be my preferred method. I have to guarantee you that. But we're going to use a, a smaller diameter drill bit. Up. 15 years later, it might actually work. Time to get another better drill bit. Open that one up just a little bit more. Well, we're having a little problem with uh, the person called Clarence. We're gonna fix that real fast.
done the process of clearancing it, I cut the green wire and the brown wire for my trailer lights. Yay, so let's fix those two after I get this fixed. Still just a little bit more. Now we just gotta fix this wire. I get to cut this loom apart and reattach all these wires together. I got nothing. Okay. I got nothing. So when I pulled those wires off right there, I think I messed up something in this splice. So we're gonna break it open and see what's going on. Okay. Now let's see which one of you are not active right here. So after all that, see that? It's blinking over there. There. So what I'm going to do now is play with this a little bit and see if I get them to stop. Okay, I guess it's not going to stop again. So we'll tape all this up and tape this up, zip tie it down, call it a day. Well, in the process of wrapping everything up, it stopped working. So yeah this was a lot of fun now i ripped it all back apart and yeah i'll show you the We're end gonna result go ahead and replace the entire harness um and make sure we got a good ground on it i'll show you when i'm done when you see old glory waving it's a good day well yeah we're inside the barn now because it was getting uncomfortable laying on the rocks so let me show you. We have a brand new wire harness. All the way back to the lights. Only took me mm, three hours. And it wasn't the trailer. It was the truck to begin with. It had two blown fuses. So a note to self. If it stops working, check the fuses on the truck too. And thanks again for watching. If you made it all the way through, I appreciate it. And if you give it a big thumbs up, it helps me out. And make sure you hit that subscribe button too.